If the creationist model is true, mammals have always existed, and every modern kind of mammal has always existed. So there have always been rodents, and bats, and cows, and deer, and people, and dogs, and bears, etc. In contrast, the evolutionary model holds that mammals haven't always existed. This is an easy model to test. Mammals are not that hard to find, and their large skeletons can preserve rather well. And so therefore, if mammals have always existed, then their remains should be evident in the fossil record. Mammals certainly have a number of anatomical specializations which reptiles lack, such as the uh, more efficient breathing mechanism using the diaphragm and the four-chambered heart, uh, the adaptations for being warm-blooded such as hair and the hormonal control over a metabolic rate, a larger brain, etc. In the intelligent design model, this would probably provide an example of irreducible complexity, that there are so many uh, adaptations which are needed for uh, these mammalian features that it would be impossible to develop these features part way. What would half the adaptations for endothermy be or half the mammalian brain? What would that look like? So an intelligent design advocate could argue that it would be impossible to get transitional forms between reptiles and mammals. They would not survive and there would be no adaptive value to their anatomical changes. The evolutionary model, in contrast, would argue that uh, there were transitional forms in between reptiles and mammals, and the adaptations which today make mammals unique did develop slowly over time through a series of transitions. Mammals haven't always existed. There are no fossil mammals known from the Precambrian or from the Paleozoic. The first mammals are known from the Triassic period in the Mesozoic era. When mammals are first known, there are no modern kinds of mammals. Uh, arguably, there are no modern kinds of mammals until after the dinosaurs become extinct. And so therefore, the vast majority of Earth's history passes without a single mammalian fossil. And modern kinds of mammals appear long after the first mammals. Prior to this, there is a very long series of transitional forms as primitive pelicosaurs, a synapsid reptile, evolved into advanced pelicosaurs, which evolved into primitive therapsids, which evolved into advanced therapsids, which evolved into primitive cynodonts, which evolved into advanced cynodonts, which evolved into primitive mammals. The features which today we associate with mammals apparently evolved through a series of transitional steps over tens of millions of years through these diverse synapsid groups.